We call it the feather, and the idea behind that is it's kind of like a badminton birdie. You know, you throw that up, you can throw it straight up, and it's always gonna come down with the nose of the badminton birdie first, and then the part that spreads is the feather, and it always comes afterwards, and that's because the arrow forces always force it to come back in, in that orientation. I'm Gabriel Williams, and I'm the Spaceship 2 Serial 2 project engineer. You can analyze all you want, and that's how we design, and that's how we come up with the ideas in the first place. But the best way to prove that something works the way you think it should is by going and trying it. So most of the ground testing on the feather system is already complete in order to allow us to do this feathered glide test. We actuated the feather several months ago. We used all the controls in the cockpit and we said, does the feather go up the way we think it should? How long does it take? And again, the feather behaved beautifully. She worked as we expected her to. We're not just testing to make sure that she can go through flight tests. We're proving out and testing that Unity can fly a commercial mission and you know, fly many, many customers to space many times. So I'm about to go up to Mission Control. Uh, specifically, I'm responsible for the load and the structure. So I'm watching all the strain gauges on the ship and the load cells and making sure those are behaving normally as they move the flight controls, you know, uh, pressurize bottles, actuate the feather locks before we go fly. Once we get to a slow enough speed, we'll unlock the feather, and then when we've gotten to a high enough angle of attack, then the co-pilot will pull the feather handle. At that point, the feather will start to raise. Feather is full of configuration checks. But in reality, the feather stays in the same position and the cabin comes up, the cabin and the wing will come up, and then slowly the ship will pitch over. So if you're watching video of the cockpit during that time, you'll actually see the horizon change position as the feather comes up. And then as soon as that's done, we'll bring the feather back down. So the co-pilot will push the feather handle back in, the feather will slowly lower, and then we'll lock the feather back up. Okay, the lock, lock. ADC you got a good Copy lock. ADC and good lock. Then we come in for a landing. Uh, you know, I'm watching some of the landing loads uh, at that time and making sure those are all behaving normally. But uh, at that point, it's mostly just like relief. You know, the adrenaline gets to kind of subside and I can just be like excited that we just executed a flight test.